Michael Herrera with MHA Consulting. I'd like to thank Bull for this opportunity today to speak to you about disaster recovery trends and many of the things that we see going on with regards to disaster recovery. First and foremost, I would say I've been now in disaster recovery business continuity for about 25 years. And I will tell you, threats and events that I would have never thought could have occurred are occurring. You see that many, many times over. Especially, there's a lot of events now that we're calling black swan events. Those with the lowest level of probability, but the highest impact. So if you take a look at September 11th, you use Bernie Madoff, you now use the volcano that impacted Europe tremendously, and a lot of you here, of course, from across the water in Europe see that. So we start to see a big trend now and change. That has a lot of impact as to our disaster recovery planning, our business recovery planning, and a better understanding globally how do we all interconnect and how we need to be better prepared. Okay, MHA Consulting. As stated, we've been in business for about 11 years. We basically focus on business continuity, disaster recovery, and IT optimization. All those are three highly integrated and lead to better resiliency within your organization. This gives you an idea of the level of customers that we work with. This has been very interesting because the amount of, of, of experience we've gained from working many different industries, from biotech, financial, uh, retail, uh, education, you definitely see the difference in importance with regards to disaster recovery and business continuity. It's very, very interesting, as well as what we've learned and what we've learned in our clients responding to different types of events. Now, as we all know, those that are leading are typically in the highly regulated environments. You will see financial industries, hospitals are starting to get better, but those that are still lagging are educational institutions and others of that nature who haven't had such a priority. Now we're starting to see that change. Look, today, real quick, we're going to talk about the BCP process in general. What is that combined of? I'll show you uh, three circles. I'll talk a little bit about crisis management, business recovery, and disaster recovery. Some of the general causes of downtime. That's always very in, in, uh, interesting because it's not typically what most people think. Talk a little bit about maturity levels. At MHA, we use six levels of maturity. I'm going to talk a little about where do we find a lot of IT organizations as well as the business side of the house. How important it is to have those aligned properly so you can have an appropriate recovery. Talk a little bit about the constraints today. What's holding back disaster recovery? Uh, CIO.com had an article that said disaster recovery is dead. It's not dead. It's dead if you have unlimited dollars, resources, the ability to build multiple facilities. But for the majority of us, disaster recovery is not dead. We have a lot of work to do, and it has to be aligned with the business. Critical path to a best of class program. I want to talk a little bit about too many times people get quickly stifled be because of the many steps associated with developing the disaster recovery program. But in many cases, if you could follow a quick critical path to get to the point that my, at least my critical systems and applications are recovered, you're in good shape. And then last, talk about trends. Trends we see out there, trends that are aiding disaster recovery, but also are going to take time, effort, and really uh, also take some time to make sure that they're proven.